The tutus that we're making are nine layers deep. So each layer, with the uppermost layer, um, is cut at graduated lengths. These tutus are for a core, and we'll be also using them for younger dancers. So we've chosen a length of 11 and a half inches. We've already made our cuts of 11 and a half inches. We use the full width of the fabric. In this case, we're using gold tulle. We leave it folded. This is 54 inch wide tulle. We stretched it out and we've already made marks. Um, right now we're cutting the second layer down, which is 10 and a half inches. So once we stretch the tulle, make sure that it's square with the grid, uh, we go and make 10 and a half inch marks and what Adrian's doing now is taking those marks with a ruler clear across the width of fabric making sure that it's even with the grid which I believe I may have mentioned but this is us actually doing it there's a little bit of stretch and give since the tool is made of uh, nylon and then it's bolted onto a bolt and we never know what the fabric shelf life is before we've purchased it. So you can see here that although it's laying flat on this edge, there's a little bit of a ripple effect on this edge. Um, what we try to do, there's no way to get it completely square without distorting the fabric. So we just gently make sure that we don't have wrinkles going left to right. If for example, if we were to stretch this out, then you can see that we would have a diagonal wrinkle, which then means that it's not going to lay on grain, so it will get a distorted appearance and it will not sew properly. So I'm just going to restore it here as squarely as we can make it, and we sort of evenly divide the extra ripple that has stretched from bolting into this opposite edge. Every time you pull the fabric up, there's always a little bit of discrepancy again because some of it stretches out along the way. So when you pull up to do your next set of cuts, you have to square up your edge once again. So she'll square that up on the half inch uh, mark and then we'll start measuring our 10 and a half inches from there. <coughs> These cuts will then be bunched into bunches of five cuts because there will be five cuts for each tutu skirt um, at this length. Once we've finished making eight bundles of five cuts at ten and a half inches, we will move on to our nine and a half inch length and then we will be making bundles of four cuts at nine and a half inches. Then we will simply repeat this step for our graduating layers of tulle until we have all layers, all nine layers for all eight tutu skirts cut out and bundled. So now that she's down there, I'm going to start bundling up here. We use push pins to stabilize, push pins and weights to stabilize our tulle into the cutting mat. Um, these are self-healing cutting mats, so uh, you're able to put push pins into them. And once I've bundled it, I label it and put a pin in it. And it goes into our basket. So once we have all of the layers of netting cut, uh, we use a ruffling attachment to a machine. This is the ruffling attachment right here that has been put onto this regular home sewing machine. The ruffling attachment actually works better with the home machine for this particular kind of application than the industrial ruffler on the industrial machine. So what Adrian is doing is feeding the layer of tool through the ruffler so that we can have it ready to apply to the panty. You'll notice that she just came across the end of one layer and so she overlapped the next layer. We don't seam them. When we use four widths of fabric to go around the tutu, 
we just overlap it two inches and feed it right through the ruffler and ruffle it as one continuous piece. So this step is completed for all nine layers of each tutu that is made. Thank you.